it or not, one of the best lessons that I've ever gotten that has allowed me to be successful as a business owner and an entrepreneur when it comes to money is the mindset that I had playing a lot of poker. I went through this time in my life where I played so much poker. I played a ton of online poker. I studied it, I read books. I used to play four tables at a time. I was doing the whole thing. It was absolutely crucial when I was doing this to not think about the money that I was betting or calling as actual money. Because when I thought about it as actual money, I was never able to make the best decision about that money. I was emotionally tied to it. Like, okay, I'm gonna call this bet, but oh my gosh, what if my kid can't have dinner tomorrow because of this? Like, that's not how it works. In the poker world, we used to call it the plus EV decision, right? The decision that you have the most equity in when you actually make that bet. But it's the same thing in business. If you're trying to make decisions out there about where to invest and what to do, and it's so tied up in, oh, but mortgage payments, and oh, what if the future is not as good for me as it is now? Or what if I lose $5,000 and I don't get it back and something I take a risk on in my business? If you're thinking that way, you're not asking the abundant question. You're not asking the question, why am I doing this? What is the best decision I can possibly make in this moment? What's the value proposition of this? How much does this cost versus what I'm going to get? And what are the chances of my success on this? That's essentially what every decision in poker is. And it's what every decision we make in our business is, which is why a lot of business owners who are in the first couple years of their business have a really hard time investing in things because it's so tied to their personal income. Like maybe you've quit your job, or you're in some other position where there's just, you feel like there's not a lot of cash flow around. So you feel weird about using credit or you feel weird about whatever. The problem is this is the mindset secret that like the top 1% really ascribe to and everybody else can't get into their minds. Scarcity breeds scarcity. So the more that you think scarce, you will get scarce. It's like the law of attraction in reverse. The more that you think about not having enough money or not being able to afford anything, the more you will lose out on opportunities to get more money, to get more abundance, to get more freedom. You absolutely need to put your mindset in a place of abundance, and you need to put your mindset in a place of direct ROI and value based on chance. Because when you're early on in your business, there's a lot of things that you're going to want to invest in, should invest in, that it's not very clear exactly what you're gonna get. You know that there is probably something like a 65% chance that you will make your money back and a 40% chance that you'll make 20 times your money or something, that may end up being like definitely a decision that you could make in your business because that could be the difference between building a million dollar business or going back to your crappy job. But the problem is we don't approach it that way. And when we don't, we get into a really big problem and we're unable to move anywhere. So chances are, and this always comes up in my programs with my students, if you feel stuck in your business, it's probably because your relationship with money is poor. That is almost always the case across the board, which is not to say that you should make bad decisions and just throw your money everywhere. It means that you need to think about it differently and move forward with your heart rather than your brain all the time. What do you think? Do you have scarcity about money? Do you feel like money has gotten in your way? I wanna hear about it in the comments. Let's talk about it, let's chat about it. And if you got value from this video, I'd love you to hit the like button. It just means that more people can see it. All right, see you in the next one.